Which of the following is the most preferred method to sterilize heat sensitive instruments? Hot air oven, autoclave, incineration, plasma sterilization. If you uh, try to just apply the common sense here, so the hot air oven is going to have heat inside. Autoclave is again a method of heat sterilization and incineration is also a method of heat sterilization. So we can uh, reach to the correct option uh, by the simple exclusion as well that is plasma sterilization. But yes, what is plasma sterilization? Plasma sterilization. Now, a plasma is basically a quasi neutral collection of electrons, positive ions and neutrals capable of collective behavior. So, this is a cloud actually and this is a collection of electron, positive ions and neutrals or we can say the neutrons and these are synergistically used. Okay, now these positive ions are going to be the free radicals which will be disrupting the bacteria. Then uh, we can just say the plasma sterilization operates synergistically via three mechanisms. So, what are the three mechanisms of the plasma sterilization? The first mechanism is your free radical interaction. Free radical interaction will be coming from the positive ions. The second is going to be your UV radiation effect, the radiation which will be produced in this and the third one is the volatilization, volatilization, right? And these are going to cause the death of microorganism and that is going to achieve you the sterilization and that's why we call it as the plasma sterilization as well, right? So the plasma sterilization, uh, if we just uh, see the gas plasma uh, sterilization, so that is going to involve the use of hydrogen peroxide. So H2O2 plasma sterilization or we call it as the hydrogen peroxide sterilization only. Now this method disperses a hydrogen peroxide solution in a vacuum chamber that creates a plasma crowd. So there will be hydrogen peroxide solution and that will be kept in a vacuum chamber and this particular solution is going to lead to formation of a cloud that is called as the plasma here, right? So that is called as the plasma cloud also, right? Now this agent slides by the oxidizing key cellular component and these inactivates the microorganisms and this is going to cause what? Oxidation actually. There will be oxidation and the plasma cloud will be existing only when the energy source is turned on. When it is turned off, it is going to oxidize into water, vapor and oxygen and that is not going to be having any harmful effects on the instruments, right? So what is the temperature range of this particular plasma sterilization? It is between 40 to 50 degrees Celsius range, okay? And it may particularly well suited for use with heat sensitive as well as moisture sensitive medical devices. Since this is 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, then you can use the heat sensitive as well as the moisture sensitive instrument in this. And that is how we get the heat sensitive uh, instrument very much sterilized and very well uh, done for the use in the new patients as well. So the instruments are then wrapped prior to sterilization and then can either be stored or used immediately. So there's a no, no problem with the use of this. You can store it or you can use it immediately. So the advantage of the plasma method is the possibility under appropriate conditions of achieving such a process at a very uh, relatively low temperature that is your less than 50 degrees Celsius and that is going to be the correct advantage as well. So the answer is going to be for the plasma sterilization if we go back to the key concept the material and devices that cannot tolerate high temperature and humidity such as some plastic electrical devices and corrosion susceptible metal alloys they can be sterilized by H2O2 gas plasma and the method has been compatible with 95% of the medical devices because you are going to use 40 to 50 degrees Celsius of the temperature which is well tolerated by even plastics, right? So yes, coming back to the question, the answer is already option 4, plasma sterilization.